Speaking of losing your edge, Rob, the Seattle Seahawks have certainly done that. Last night. Stinky. Stinky. Chris, I told you it was all over before the season even started. I told you it was all over in Seattle. Sleepless in Seattle. How about winless in Seattle? Well, they're not quite (laughs) winless. They have won three. But they're three and eight lately. Yeah, three and eight. And uh, last night, beaten 17-15 by the mediocre, the fair to Midland uh, Washington football team. And here's what I'm throwing at. And, and, I mean, like you said, you called it before the season. So I guess I, I can guess where you're going on this. But there's now talk, Rob, that, you know, the talk is heated up that this could be Russell Wilson's last year in Seattle and that the team needs to move on and trade him. What are your thoughts? I'm all for it. I said this, Chris. We talked about this a couple of weeks ago. Don't hold on to them too long. That team has so, that team has more holes than a golf course. So it is time <laughs> to move on and and plug them by getting some picks. We started, Chris. You know, like you had a nice run. What should have been was they should have won two world, two championships back-to-back, right? If they would have run the ball in the end zone, they would have had two championships. They had the Legion of Boom, Russell Wilson, Pete Carroll. It would have been a beautiful story, tie a bow on it. They only got one. And now the defense is no good, the offense is no good, and it doesn't make sense to have a quarterback that eats up that much of the salary cap when you can't fix the other places because there's no money for those places. So it only makes sense. The guy was disgruntled last offseason, was, you know, talking big and and bad last offseason. Make the move. It is time to rebuild. And I think sometimes people hold on to people too long. It's not a disrespect or you think he can't play or anything like that, Chris. It's not. It's just like keeping him and having limitations on what you can bring in to help make it better is the problem. So the best thing is trade him while he has big value, get some draft picks, and then start to rebuild that Seattle uh, Seahawks situation and have the chance to try to win again. And you know what? Something's been bugging me for a while. You always talked about, Chris, uh, before Russell Wilson, they didn't win anything. They, They went to the Super Bowl against Pittsburgh. I mean, I... I want to. I want to make they sure. Win that, it? No, they lost, but they did. Let's not make it like they went to the Super Bowl. Were they Bowl a mainstay year. in the playoffs? No, like that? that that they okay. went to the Super Bowl. I just they were I just a pretty good team. Out there. They went to the Super Bowl. I mean, they they haven't been horrible. No, I just wanted to make sure right. because I think I remember you saying like before no, Russell they, Wilson, uh, Pete Carroll they didn't well, do anything. Well, well, they I, went yeah, to the Super and Bowl. I was talking about Pete Carroll, but Pete Carroll right. didn't take them to the Super Bowl. No, but I'm saying the organization had gone to the Super Bowl. Yeah, yeah. I mean, one time in their 36, well, what, one time before Russell Wilson, they have been to the Super Bowl one time in their 36 year history. All right, tell the Lions, with that? Tell, the, tell the Lions and the Browns. They're not and, comparing uh, themselves to the freaking Lions and what? the Browns. Not just to fit your narrative, all right? All right, because that you, you want to act like, oh, they were big and bad in Seattle. No, but they weren't act like sleepless. They, have... they weren't winless. They were nasty. They were tough. They were gritty. They got to the Super Bowl. Yeah, one time in 36 years. Don't give me that. Don't even give me that. Yeah, I thought so. No, I, I already <laughs> made my point. Go ahead. So you want to keep Russell Wilson Look, here's and, the, and have yes. a bad franchise with a with a star quarterback. They're not a bad franchise. Win. They're terrible. This will be terrible. this will likely be. It, I mean, it's not even guaranteed yet, but likely be the first losing record in Russell Wilson's career, Rob. And right, his career that, started in 2012. And 250 gets you on the New York City subway. What, what is no, that? No, so you what? know what that gets you? It gets you into the Hall of Fame. They have got a Hall of Fame quarterback smack dab in the middle of his prime, just turned 33 years old, yesterday, I believe. And you want to trade him? You want to go back to the Jim Zorn, Matt Hasselback, Dave Craig, Krieg. Dave Craig, Craig, however you Craig, used to say Craig. it. Seneca Wallace, Tavares, Jack, you want to go back to that? 
You don't trade away a Hall of Fame quarterback in his prime. Chris, Unless they have traded got, away and okay, got give, rid of. Give me your little list. Because all of them were past their prime. No, which but, one but, wasn't but, in his? Which but, one but was still minute. in his prime? No, huh? but 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 the point is that they they moved on from those guys. And were those they guys, in their prime? And those guys went on to play and do well. Brett Favre Who? went to the NFC Championship game. He was robbed. Uh, Joe Montana Rogers, went to the AFC a, Championship hold on, game. They had Aaron Rodgers in waiting. And Brett Favre was older. You know he wasn't. He still wasn't. But at he his still best. went to the NFC oh, Championship game. Oh, he still was game. okay. Yeah, he still could throw a football. Joe okay. Montana. They had Steve Young, another Hall of Famer. All right, but he, in but waiting, he still went Joe to the Montana AFC Championship game in Kansas City. Joe Montana. But but he was older. Peyton he wasn't Manning still in won a prime. Super Bowl after they, they got rid Andrew of him. Andrew Luck All in right. waiting, and and Peyton Manning was coming off a horrific neck injury. So, Rob, they're not the same. Russell, look, it is easier to rebuild around Russell Westbrook. Or Chris, they don't have Wilson, money. They don't have any th- space. Then, then draft the properly. Then make some good trade. I'm serious. And you know what? Before I would trade Russell Wilson, I would fire Pete Carroll. If it comes to that. Why if does I Pete make Carroll a change, have to be I'm in the equation? Because I mean, here's what? the deal. Here's the deal. It ain't an either or. Well, let me now let me finish. We know this, and it's not a it's not every time. There are exceptions. But in many cases, Rob, a very good coach comes in and changes things immediately. Immediately. Sean McDermott goes to Buffalo. What a Buffalo they won? hadn't hold on. Buffalo hadn't been good. Since Jim Kelly walked out of the door. They had missed the playoffs for 17 straight years. In his first season, Sean McDermott gets him in the playoffs. Sean McVay goes to the Rams. They had missed the playoffs for a dozen straight years. In his first season. Chris, stop it. They're they're balling. Andy Reid goes to Kansas City, which was a joke. Hadn't been good since the days of Otis Taylor and Lynn Dawson. Who? Maybe Christian Okoye here or there. Yeah, all right. Jamal Tars here or there. Nightmare. Yeah, they were, they, were, they were all right. But immediately he turned. They go from two wins to 11 with Alex Smith as quarterback. Rob, my point is this. If you get the right coach in there. Oh, because they got some ballers. DK Metcalf. Tyler Lockett. Remember the running back Chris Carson is hurt. Jamal Adams. Oh, yeah, everybody's down on Jamal Adams. And I'm not saying he can't improve. Okay, fine. But he still can ball. They got some pieces. I think Pete Carroll's grown stale. Pete Carroll wasn't a great NFL coach. What are you, an ageist now? Just because he's a little long in the tooth and gray hair? I don't care if he was 34. I don't care if he was the age of one of your dates. <laughs> Can I, I see still it? I'll be saying it. You know that's the that's always the hard part when I date. Every time I go out on a they, date, they, are you out with your daughter? They ask yeah, that. you know they or they ask they, they got off the Carter to make sure she could even get into the restaurant. You know, <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, but I'm telling you, right? Look, and I'm not on a fire Pete Carroll binge. Yes, you I'm are. Just, what no, did Pete Carroll do? What to you? I'm saying is this, Rob. <laughs> If it comes down to one or the other, like if I'm like, okay, we got to do something, we're we're stuck in a lurch. My my, I am thinking about getting rid of Pete Carroll and bringing in a new coach before I am thinking about trading Russell Wilson. Because Rob, I'm t- you know this, there are whole franchises who have never in their entire existence had a Hall of Fame quarterback in his prime, or period. And now I'm just going to give one away because of one bad season? They were 12-4 no, and four last year. I'm not buying into where they are and what they, – they need so many things to get this team thing back together, Chris. They, they need more than tape and glue. You're, you're like, oh, they'll be, they'll be all right next year. No. They, no, they, I'm this, not this saying team it's, is, not, a, it's not an uphill climb. I'm just saying I would rather build with a Hall of Fame quarterback. Because, Rob, that's the hardest thing to get. 
I, and I that's get what that every part. team wants. But, and they've been that the reason they've been in the playoffs relevant. Yes, they haven't won it. Chris. But heck, Green Bay didn't win it. Green Bay hasn't won it with Aaron Rodgers since what, 2010, 2011? Yeah, but but did, here's did, my thing. Was it was, you, should they have traded him? Did you see what they just did in New England? They had a Hall of Fame uh quarterback. They let him go. Yeah, and he went somewhere wait, and won wait. the Super Bowl. No, no, no. They were down for one year. They won seven games, and now they're back in the playoff well, hunt because we'll they rebuilt the team and they put a young quarterback in the right system. Chris, we'll you're the one and talking they got about the that. Best coach no, in well, hold on. Hold I mean, on, seriously. hold on. You're talking about the Patriots are Super Bowl contenders, and they did it in one year. They got rid of a Hall of Fame quarterback. This is the blueprint, Chris got, Broussard. Yeah. Is Bill Belichick this is the blueprint. walking through that door? Is no. Bill Belichick walking through that door in this Seattle? This is the blueprint. Seattle went to the Super Bowl back-to-back years. What are you talking about? That was about? a decade ago. Stop, stop ripping Pete Carroll. Give the man some respect. <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> Rob Parker, <laughs> when New Orleans went seven and nine for four out of five seasons, did they trade away Br- Drew Brees? They no. should have. No, they should not have. I get it. They didn't win another Super Bowl. But you know what? They were in the hunt. They were in the fight. They were in the thick of it every single year, pretty much. When when Pittsburgh, about eight years ago, Went back-to-back years without making the playoffs. Did they get rid of Big Ben Roethlisberger? I need some music. Did they get rid of Big Ben Roethlisberger? They should have. No. We don't have time And I for get all it. That. They have not yet won a Super Bowl since then. But still, they were relevant. They gave the fans a reason to come out to the stadium. <laughs> the fans believed they could go into every season saying, we got Big Ben. We got Drew Brees. We got a chance. And the fans of Seattle, they deserve more than you want to give them. You want them to hit rock bottom. <laughs> you want them to go to the, to the abyss. There's no guarantee you climb out of the abyss. You should know that having worked in Detroit for 20 years. <laughs> the fans in Seattle deserve a contender. And with Russell Wilson at the helm, that's what you get. This year, throw it away. It's an aberration. It's a once in a decade type thing. Russell Wilson will be back. Don't trade him. Fire the coach instead. You know what? You got me so hungry talking about the abyss. The next time I go out to dinner, I'm going to get some lobster abyss. You know what I'm saying?